China over the past four decades, this nation has undergone a transformation so dramatic it could be the plot of a modern economic fairy tale. Once one of the world's poorest countries, China embraced a new path in the late 1970s and 80s, turning into a powerhouse of unprecedented growth. Imagine a place where annual GDP growth averaged an astonishing 10%. But now the landscape is shifting. In recent months, alarming signs have emerged, sending ripples of concern through the global economy. Home prices have plummeted, retail sales are stagnating, and unemployment is rising at an unsettling pace. The situation has reached a point where the Chinese government has unveiled a series of stimulus measures, desperately trying to inject life back into its faltering economy. Just last week, in a speech commemorating the 75th anniversary of the People's Republic of China, President Xi Jinping warned of rough seas and obstacles and difficulties lying ahead. So, what's driving this sudden downturn? Unemployment rates are up, retail sales are down, and there's a palpable sense of uncertainty gripping the Chinese populace. For many, especially the younger generation, the future seems daunting. Young adults, who once felt assured about their prospects, are now questioning whether their hard-earned degrees will translate into stable employment. A troubling trend is emerging. The rise of full-time children, a term used to describe young adults who remain dependent on their parents as they struggle to find jobs in a tight labor market. What is happening on the streets of China? For millions of parents, the dream of seeing their children prosper is increasingly overshadowed by doubt. Their kids, equipped with good educations, are entering a job market that offers little in return. Many young graduates are finding themselves in a grim reality, underemployed or employed in positions far beneath their qualifications. This has resulted in a shift in consumer behavior, with uncertainty looming, Many are tightening their belts and saving rather than spending. After 40 years of phenomenal growth, many people in China are starting to feel a sense of die comfort. The once vibrant economy is now experiencing a more profound stagnation, with households feeling the pressure as their investments in real estate begin to crumble. The story of China's housing market is pivotal in understanding this shift. Let's rewind a bit. Roughly three years ago, the Chinese government recognized that skyrocketing property prices were unsustainable. In a bid to prevent an affordability crisis, they implemented stringent regulations targeting property developers. These measures, however, led to the default of some of the largest real estate firms, triggering a wave of financial uncertainty. What was once seen as a bull market has turned into a looming crisis. Consider the real estate market. Once a source of prosperity, it has now morphed into a major stressor for the Chinese economy. In 1979, home ownership in China was virtually non-existent. But today, estimates indicate that 80% to 90% of households own their homes, with over 20% owning multiple properties. However, as prices plummet, these investments are now perceived as ticking time bombs. A critical issue has emerged. Thousands of homes lie abandoned across cities like Shenyang, where entire subdivisions stand empty, showcasing the dramatic disconnect between supply and demand. But let's take a moment to understand the broader implications. China has a population exceeding 1.4 billion people, with an aging demographic structure that adds complexity to its economic challenges. The one-child policy, enacted in 1980 and maintained for 35 years, has had profound long-term effects. While it controlled population growth, it inadvertently created a demographic crisis, leading to an imbalance where fewer young people are entering the workforce to support an increasingly aging population. What does this mean for future economic growth? As the birth rate declines, the number of working age individuals is also expected to fall. This demographic shift raises critical questions about the sustainability of economic growth in China. In a world where consumer spending is paramount, a shrinking workforce translates into reduced demand for goods and services, further stalling economic momentum. To put things in perspective, while China's government projects a GDP growth of around 5% this year, this figure falls short of historical expectations. Only a decade ago, double-digit growth rates were the norm. Now, even 5% feels underwhelming for a country of China's stature. This slowdown, driven by a combination of regulatory crackdowns, 
external pressures, and internal mismanagement raises alarms not just within China but around the globe. Moreover, the global landscape has also shifted dramatically. The COVID-19 pandemic, combined with geopolitical tensions, most notably the trade war initiated during the Trump administration, has exacerbated existing vulnerabilities in China's economic structure. Lockdowns that lasted three years not only hampered domestic production, but also alienated China from vital global markets. As the world grapples with recovery, China finds itself at a crossroads, with substantial hurdles to overcome. The question remains, what lies ahead? As the Chinese economy grapples with these multifaceted challenges, there are several possible outcomes. One possibility is the continued implementation of stimulus measures aimed at revitalizing sectors like real estate and consumer spending. However, will these measures be enough to restore confidence among citizens, or will they merely postpone the inevitable reckoning? As we've seen, Chinese households are increasingly cautious, prioritizing savings over spending. This shift could lead to a prolonged period of stagnation, further eroding the foundations of the economy. Furthermore, without significant structural reforms to address the underlying issues, such as demographic imbalances and over-reliance on real estate investment, China risks entering a cycle of slow growth that could last for years. For the world at large, the implications are profound. As one of the largest economies globally, any downturn in China will reverberate through international markets. Global supply chains, trade relations, and investment patterns are all intricately linked to China's economic health. While China's economic journey over the past 40 years has been nothing short of miraculous, the question now is whether that miracle is fading. The combination of slowing growth, a struggling real estate market, and demographic challenges poses a significant threat to the nation's future prosperity. As we navigate these turbulent waters, one thing is certain, the world will be watching closely to see how China adapts to this new reality. Will it emerge stronger or will it falter in the face of adversity? Only time will tell. If you found this analysis insightful, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more in-depth explorations of global economic trends. Share your thoughts in the comments below. Do you believe China's economic miracle is truly on the verge of collapse, or can it rebound once again? Let's discuss, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update on the world's most pressing economic issues. Thank you for watching. Just last week, in a speech commemorating the 75th anniversary of the People's Republic of China, President Xi Jinping warned of rough seas and obstacles and difficulties lying ahead. Describe young adults who remain dependent on their parents as they struggle to find jobs in a tight labor market.